Demonstro in Latin, the verb demonstro means sort of to point out. So demonstratives, uh, demonstratives are words that point, like this or that in English. For instance, I can say, oh, this word, this word, or I can say, that word, okay? They're pointing words, okay? In Latin, we have learned two demonstratives so far. We've learned hic, hic, hoc, and we've learned ille, illa, illu. In English, this is used to refer to, is used for things near the first person. That is used for things near the second or third person. Let me explain what I mean by this. That's a little complicated. Okay. Okay. Here we have a bunch of Englishmen. We have Robin Hood, some British man with an umbrella, and a bobby. Okay. And they're speaking English. And Robin Hood is going to be speaking, and so from his perspective, he is the first person. He's going to be speaking to this man here with the umbrella. So from Robin Hood's perspective, this man is the second person. Finally, off in the distance is a bobby, right? And he is neither first person nor second person, so therefore he's third person. He's uh, not I or you. He's something that's he, she, it, or they. And he's off in the distance, okay? So Robin, Robin Hood in English is going, to, is going to use this and that according to standard English usage. So let's say he refers to the dog near himself. He is going to say, this dog, because in English, this is the demonstrative that is used for things in the first person. If he refers to this dog near the man with the umbrella, he's going to say that dog, because in English, when we refer to things that are near the second person, we, we use the word that, the demonstrative that. Finally, if, he, if Robin Hood, talking to this man with the umbrella, refers to that distant dog associated with the third person, he's going to say, that dog, right? So in English, things to the first person are, 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 are referred to with this. Things to the second and third person are referred to using that, okay? So English has two demonstratives. This for things to the first person, that for things to the second person and third person. Now Latin has three demonstratives to cover this and that, okay? Our old friend hic, hic, hoc is used for things near the first person. A new demonstrative that I'm about to tell you about, iste, ista, istud, is used for things near the second person. And a third demonstrative, which we've already learned, ille, illa, illud, is used for things near the third person. Okay? Let me show you how this works. Oh, well, actually, first, I want to talk for a moment about the word iste. We have not let yet learned the demonstrative of iste, ista, istud, but it's very, very simple. Um, it declines exactly like ile, illa, illud. Um, here is iste, ista, istud, decline. Iste, ista, istud, isto, ista, istud, istios, 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 isti, 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 isto, ista, isto. The, the, the single is a little irregular. The plural is very easy. The plural is actually just like uh, our old friend multus, multum, multum, just like a standard adjective, the first and the second declension, so it's pretty easy. Um, if you look at these if you look at these endings carefully, however, you'll realize they're the same endings that ille uses. Um, here's ille right here. If your eyes were quick, you may have seen that these actually are the same endings. So this is ille, and it has the exact same ending as iste. So if you know how to decline ille, you know how to decline iste. The only difference is that ille begins I-L-L, -L, and iste begins I-S-T. Okay? That's iste, iste, iste. 
which, by the way, your book won't be introducing for, for some weeks now, um, but uh, it will eventually introduce this important demonstrative. But let's see how these work in practice. Okay? Now remember, I told you that Hikai Kok was the demonstrative of the first person, Iste Ista Istud is the demonstrative of the second person, and Ile Ila Ilud is the demonstrative of the third person. Let's see how a Roman would use them. Well, yeah, we have here two poets. We have this rather cranky looking poet here, and then we have this more kindly looking poet over here, and then over there there's a sad, um, there's a sad. Okay? Now, if this cranky poet is talking, of course, from his perspective, he's the first person. And if he's talking to this more kindly poet, the more kindly poet from his perspective is the second person, right? And if, of course, this cranky poet is talking to this kindly poet, and they make reference to that satyr over that, the satyr is going to be the third person, right? So let's see how the demonstratives work. Well, let's say this cranky poet wants to refer to this dog. What he'll say is, hic canis, hic canis, this dog. Canis is the word for dog in Latin, and it's masculine, so we say hic canis, this dog. But then let's imagine that this cranky poet wants to refer to the dog near the kindly poet. What he will say instead is, iste canis, that dog, okay, that dog. And he uses the demands of iste because it's near the second person. Finally, if he wants to talk about the dog near the, near the satyr, that is, if he wants to talk to the kindly poet about the kindly poet as the second person and the satyr then as the third person, he referred to that dog as ille, ille canis, okay? So, to sum up here, things near the first person are called hic, things near the second person are called iste, and things near the third person are called ille, okay? So here's a fact to know. You might be quizzed on this. You probably will be quizzed on this. Hikai Kok is the demonstrative of the first person. Iste Iste Istud is the demonstrative of the second person. Ile Ila Ilud is the demonstrative of the third person. Let's move on now and talk about another demonstrative. Is Ea Ea. This is a really, really important demonstrative. Here, I, it, it, here it is declined. It is introduced in the grammar for 3A. And um, the, 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 the singular just has to be memorized. It's kind of tricky. It's not super tricky. It, it actually looks kind of similar to other declensions you've seen before. Let's say the declension of ille or uh, the declension of, uh, of uh, yeah, iste. Um, the plural is actually very nice. The plural has, the, has the, the letter e followed by the endings of a standard first and second declension adjective, like multis, multi, multi, like, you know, Multi, multi, multa becomes a, e, a, i, a, a. So in the plural, it's very regular, but in the singular, it has to be memorized. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, is, a, it is not used to point in space. It's not used for space, okay? It is used to point to things mentioned in conversation. By the way, it, it, it translates in several ways, depending on the context. You can translate it this, you can translate it that. You can also translate it he, she, it, or they. Uh, those are all possible translations. It depends on the context. Okay? But let's see how this word is used. Okay? So, let's imagine we have our cranky poet and our nice poet. The satyr has gone home, apparently. Okay? And the cranky poet says to the kindly poet this. Heri in via canem vidi. Okay? Heri is the Latin word for yesterday. In via means on the road. Conum is the accusative the word for dog, and weedy means I saw. So this is, yesterday on the road, I saw a dog. Okay? Well, the kindly poet might respond, Am conum ego quoquo weedy. You may remember that quoque means also. This means that dog I also saw, right? Am conum is the accusative. This is the accusative of say it in the, in the mask and agree with conum. So this is a form of say it. Am conum means that dog. That dog I also saw. The poet is using, or the kindly poet is using a form of is it, it that is am, because he's not pointing at anything in space. Instead, he's referring back in conversation. That's what is it, it does. It usually points back to things that have just been talked about. Occasionally, it will also point forward to things that are about to be talked about, but that's a lot more rare. Generally speaking, what is it, it does 
is it points to things that have just been mentioned or talked about previously. So, let's talk a bit more about this issue. You may remember that Latin has first and second person pronouns, singular and plural. Ego is first person singular, to is uh, second person singular, nos is first person plural, vos is second person plural. But you may have, so that's, you know, I, you, we, y'all. You may have noticed, however, that I have never taught you, or your book has never taught you, any words for he, she, it, or they, the, uh, the standard third person pronouns in English, okay? Oddly, Latin has no third person pronouns. No he, she, it, and they. It just doesn't have those words. As a matter of fact, the ancestral language that Latin derived from didn't have them either. Instead, what it does is it uses is, a, it, okay? Now, this makes sense when you think about it. Let, let's think about the way I would use the word he in English. I might say, John went to school yesterday. He had three classes. The word he is pointing back, in, in the second sentence, is pointing back to John in the first sentence. It's actually pointing back to something that's just been said. That's just what is, a, it does. Is, a, it points back to things that are just said. So Latin uses is, a, it to serve as third person pronouns, although technically they are not that, they are actually demonstratives. So let's see how this works out. So here are our poets again, cranky poet, nice poet. Okay. Harry and we are kind of winning. Yesterday on the road I saw a dog. Right? Response. Aum ego poque winning. Aum is the accusative masculine singular of is a id. And it's referring to the dog there, which is mas which is which is masculine singular. So this means this this could be translated. I also saw it or him. You know, depending on whether you want to call the dog a him or an it. I think usually in English, if you don't know, you say it. I also saw it. In Latin, it has to be masculine. So the word condom is masculine. But this word is being used just as the English word him is, okay? So that's how Latin deals with the issue of not having a third person pronoun. It instead uses the demonstrative is, a, it. Okay. So facts to know. Latin has no third person pronouns. Instead, it uses the demonstrative is, a, it. Okay. Um, thank you very much. This is the end. D A D D E D D I Dicky Da D O Do Dicky Da Do D U Do Dicky Da Do Do F A F F E F E F I Picky Pie F O F O Picky Pie F O F U F O Picky Pie F O F O G A J G E G G I Dicky Da G O Jo Dicky Da Jo G U Jo Dicky Da Jo Do Do